thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, I live in Warsaw. No, I was born in Warsaw, but I live a little bit in Berlin and also in Trento. And I studied sculpture, but meanwhile I started to do also performances, uh, videos, video installations. And this is my first work of art. Uh, I graduated with this sculpture in 93, and this is called the Pyramid of Animals. And the idea derived from a fairy tale of the brother Grimm uh, called the Bremen Town Musicians. And in this fairy tale, there is a moment where these four, uh, four creatures uh, step one on top of the others. And this image I used for my diploma work. And uh, the idea was that I wanted to uh, create a monument made from animals for all animals. So it means that I had to choose for animals from living animals and to arrange uh, the procedure to put them to death, also to arrange the skinning and then the stuffing. And why I did this? Because uh, I was asking myself and also other people if we now still are conscious of the death of the animals we are consuming. And of course, it, uh, uh, the work was considered very controversial and it was attacked very much by the press and by the animal lovers and also by people who who just took the chance to speak in public. Um, I also videotaped the, the death of the horse and the, the death of the rooster. Um, the next work was uh, Blood Ties. And on these photographs are showing uh, the naked bodies of me and my sister, um, a red crescent, you tell crescent, crescent, and and the red cross. And uh, in this in this work, I was recalling the Kosovo War that was being fought at the time. And the Red Crescent and Red Cross are symbols of humanitarian aid institutions, but derived from religious symbols and the representatives of the two religions were fighting each other and this was the, um, the input to put me and my sisters, we are sisters and the, and the work is, uh, called Blood of Ties. Uh, ties of Blood? Ties of Blood. Ah, in this context. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, the next work is called uh, Olympia, and it refers to the to Manet's painting. And at the time I was ill, I was fighting the Hodgkin disease, and uh, it consists of three photographs and, uh, and a video. And for me personally, the, the video, when I was getting uh, my chemotherapy, my chemo injection, uh, was uh, the most important part of this, of this photograph and video installation because it helped me to, um, to, how to tell it, to, to create a distance to my illness. 
Mm. And what I liked about this work the most was that uh, I got a lot of feedback from ordinary people that um, understood and appreciate that. Mm. The next work was uh, I created was uh, bus, women's bus, and uh, when I was the first time in. Budapest, I went to a, to a women's bus and was totally fascinated by the women, by the, all the women uh, passing and I also was fascinated by, uh, by how the women behaved and f uh, for the first time of all I really saw old naked women. And so, um, uh, for, for a small time, I thought, for a short time, I, uh, I, I had the idea that maybe I could rent the bus and arrange a, a shooting. But then, immediately, I understood that I cannot have both, uh, both things. The women act. Uh, um, the, the women act and behave naturally. I, I understood that it couldn't work, so I decided to shoot a video with a hidden camera, and I went with a camera in a plastic bag with a hole and uh, shoot uh, um, many, I don't know, 20 hours of footage, and later I selected the most beautiful pictures. Mm. Mm. And I liked the idea of showing women and their bodies in a way that is different from what I was used from art history and also uh, movies and also TV commercials. Mm. Uh, the next um, installation I did was men's bus and the, um, I disguised myself as a man in order to make a video in a man's bus house. And I wondered if I will be recognized as a woman um, in my perfect disguise because I had a beard, I had a fake coke and, and hairs on my hair on my chest. And I was not recognized as a, a woman, but uh, later and when I, when I was watching the footage, I, uh, I really couldn't believe that, uh, that it was enough to put the, the beard and the fake cock and just um, be somewhere I really uh, wasn't supposed to be so um, and when I started the, the, uh, when I had ah, will be too much um, this is how I was uh, disguised um, the next uh, uh, work I created was Rite of Spring uh, I saw in a television, in, on television fragments of reconstructed pieces of the ballet, The Rite of Spring of Stravinsky. And the choreographer for Rite of Spring was a genial ballet dancer, Václav Nizhinsky. Uh, um, and I was so fascinated by the movements I was watching and also by the story of reconstruction itself that I decided to do my own interpretation of the dance of the chosen victim. Mm. And the chosen victim in the, chore in the original choreography uh, was chosen to, uh, to dance until its uh, exhaustion and death in order to feed the earth. And as the movements uh, seemed very two-dimensional di for me, I immediately got the idea that uh, 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 that I could use people uh, like puppets being um, moved by strings, hmm? moved by strings, 
Um, and an important idea of this project was also that I could use uh, really very old people and pretend that they are, um, that, uh, they are performing a very elaborated choreography that even for younger people and younger professional ballet dancers is nearly impossible to, to do. And this, this is how the installation looked later. So it were thousands and thousands of, uh, of, uh, of, of uh, shots that then were put together in, in a movement. But really the people were lying and they were not uh, moving by the force of their, of their um, muscles, but by a trick animation, by trick. Mm -hmm. mm, the next work I did was Punishment and Crime, and I named it after Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment. And in order to accomplish this aim, I penetrated a group of people interested in found World War II weapons and explosive materials. Uh, I was allowed to attend the rifle range and watch experiments with different weapons and found and self-made explosives. And also the faces of the young numbers, members of the group are hidden behind masks of models and pinups and wear wigs. Everything that surrounded the men in the video exploding cars, buildings, shedding fragments that occasionally hit the camera, the atmosphere filled with adrenaline and testosterone was authentic. Mm. So the last, the last uh, work I have some pictures of is um, in Our Dreams Come True, and it is a project consisting of a series of performances uh, audience engaging happenings and videos which I was pursuing over three and a half years. And in that series, I acted as the director, the chief, chief performer, and as raw material, material in the hands of my master guides, Gloria Viagra and the maestro. Mm. Is it already 15 minutes? Two more minutes. Mm. Mm, so, so this is Grzegorz Pitue Maestro who is giving me singing lessons because I was taking the singing lessons uh, because I was fascinated by him, by his somehow artificial appearance because he's a real opera singer. And I had the I had the impression that he was not able to, to distinguish stage life from, from, how do you call it, from, from private life. And, and Gloria Viagra uh, was my idol of, I don't know, of perfect femininity and I've chosen her to teach me how to uh, how to dress up, how to, I don't know, how to make makeup and all these things. So, so this, both of these people were, I was like a puppet in, in their hands and they were forming me uh, through three and a half years. Hmm? So, some appearances of this in Our Dreams Come True. A sudden concerto where I was singing Queen of the Night because I really learned to sing. Here I was singing an aria. It was a performance called Diva Reincarnation. I am in this uh, cast inside and I was singing uh, the aria of Olympia mm, from mm, the Tales of Hoffman. Mm. And and it was a, a, a shock for people who didn't know me because they were invited to join a performance and knew that I will 
be the subject of the performance. And when they see me, they couldn't believe another incarnation in, in, in this project. I was incarnating also a cheerleader. Uh, and the last of the series of an Adams come true was Castrato, where my two mentors who were educating me to being a real woman are castrating me on stage. And this is the end of, of the project. And the end of my speech. <laughs>